The biggest thing of note is there's not three bear, there's there's only one there, um, which will make it easier all in all. Uh, I don't have to worry about cubs or a sow, but you can see why he's there. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> wow. two feeders right there. Yeah. The bear is indeed eating bird seed out of a bird feeder. The other thing you should know is there's a handicapped woman and a special needs adult okay. in, in the house, so. Okay. And um, when it's here, is it like going at your grill or just walk no, by? No, actually oh. just took my feeder. We, we put the feeders out in the morning. Oh, OK. And we never had any problems during the day. And he was just here, we can see. OK. They forage all day long. So they're not only active at night, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, what we'll say is April 1st, you know, pretty much across the board, just don't even feed anymore. Because um, I can tell them the same thing once I get rid of this bear to bring that in. I'll probably scare it first, and then I'll go from there. But yeah. yeah, and then if you guys go inside, maybe it'll redirect itself back to Mount Forest. We hope. He's beautiful. I just don't want him to get injured or shot. Yeah. I'll let you know when I'm done. Yeah. You can probably watch the show from inside if you want. <laughs> Best case scenario, perfect world is going to be with the bear exiting the deck, not jumping off and getting hurt, running off and eventually being able to direct it back into the woodland surrounding the town. So probably we'll just scare by me walking on the deck, but uh, so the wind's coming this way. So if I need to, I might hit him with pepper spray. He won't like it, but he'll, he'll probably like bury his 